Okay, so this is Potter and I've got a lead. So it's a very similar thing to what we did with the collar. Um, I'm gonna, just found a toy. I'm gonna show him the lead. If he touches it or goes near it, I'm just gonna say yes. It goes near it, yes. If it was on the ground and he moved towards it, I would say yes and give him a treat. So the lead is not an important thing. I would also pair this with holding the collar and give a treat. Touch the collar, give a treat. Finding the loop, moving the loop around, give a treat. Then I might have both his collar and my lead in my hand at the same time. It's yes and give a treat. So yes, give a treat. Move the, car, the lead around him. Yes, give a treat. Move the lead around so it's not as important. Maybe I'm gonna use the clip. Just make that noise with the clip. Yes, give a treat. Pair that noise with a treat. Pair the noise with a treat. Again, it's that noise is happening just behind their head. Slowly, you can get to the point where you can attach the lead. Now, I'm just gonna let that loose and it's not an important thing to him. I'm not putting pressure on it. It's just gonna get him used to the, the weight of that lead being attached. Going to throw some treats on the ground, do a bit of a scatter fees. So it's all about just relaxing with that. If you have a toy, if your toy is, dog is toy focused, Baba, Baba, what is? you can have a game of tug or play with your toy as well whilst he's got the lead on. Okay, so the toy is the uh, lead is incidental to the fun that you're having. So it's all about fun. The lead is just there just getting your dog to get used to it. So I'm gonna throw a treat further away. So now he's pulling the, he's just dragging the lead around. Okay, and it's just, just there. It's the same thing if you were putting this onto a harness. Okay. So once he's got the lead on, I'm gonna put my hand down, hold it, give a treat. Hold it, give a treat. Maybe put a little bit of pressure on it. Give a treat, yes, give a treat. A little bit more pressure on, yes, give a treat etc etc okay if you've got a short lead just with a clip and a short piece of string or something on you can have your dog just wandering around with that so it's not really dragging on the ground it's just attached if your dog's very sensitive to the weight of a lead then you can start off literally with a piece of string or a piece of cotton if it's a puppy piece of cotton a piece of string and then slowly build up to a, a more and more weighty, weighty lead. And eventually your dogs and your puppies will be able to cope with a lead being attached. And you can put more and more pressure on, yes. Pressure on, yes. Pressure on, yes. Where it's all just a game, as well as touching the collar. Potter has a, a standard collar with a buckle, so instead of clipping, clasping, you're just gonna need to do more work with messing around with the, the collar and then give a, a reward. So messing around with the collar, give a reward, messing around with when you're gonna put the, um, the buckle through, if you've got a, one with a buckle on it like this one. So hopefully that's given you some ideas, some tips. Take it slowly, watch your dog's body language. If they are moving away, you're going too fast. Just put the collar or the lead on the ground and mark, which is yes or click, and reward for just any interaction, feeling comfortable with it near them. If they're uncomfortable with you holding it, literally just put it on the ground and then let them investigate. Okay, any questions, please just ask. Thank you.